Connections are what make each universe just as beautiful to live in. The stronger the connection, the stronger the bond. Now Fumi Iwatani, a young man that was transported to another world, was sent to become the world's shield hero of Melramark. Despite his trials and tribulations, as well as the notoriety he had claimed upon entering this new world, he was able to rise from the ashes from what he had, and not only was able to make an army for himself, but also to become a liberator for all of the kingdom of Melramark. But what happens if this hero was taken too soon? And what if another young hero had taken his mantle to go down a completely different path? Follow me as we enter yet another new universe. As we answer the question, what if Raftalia was the shield hero? On their first adventure together, instead of what happened normally between the two, an arrow to the back of Naofumi Iwatani broke the friendship between him and Raftalia apart. And as Naofumi comf comforts a crying Raftalia, he wished that he could have spent more time with her. That is what he said. And as he fades, her slave crest fades, and the shield is passed on to her. The proud shield hero had died in Raftalia's arms. Stricken with grief and sorrow, Raftalia was forced to retreat from the king's forces. But when one door closes, another one opens. Three years later, after many trials and battles, Raftalia wakes up to another day in her liberated hometown, thanks to her, her and her friends Kiel and Rifana. While Raftalia did run after her friend's death, inspired to become stronger for now for me, she returned to Lorelana village and saved her friends, the rest of her family, and even Rifana. But as the years pass, Raftalia still misses now for me. It was rough on both her heart and her soul, but now leveled up themselves, Kiel and Rifana would always be there for her and will create a bright future together in now for me's name. But on the other side of the world, the King of Melramar meets an untimely end by a drink laced with poison, and a new queen was crowned in his stead, his oldest daughter, Malty, who, together with a new advisor by her side, now shrouds a darkness on the kingdom of Melramark. During the next day, and after rescuing and recruiting a Philo Lilia, which Rifana named Philo, because, according to her, she looks like a Philo, a bounty was placed on the Devil of the Shield, but with Naofumi gone, now Raftalia was the Devil. She and her friends managed to avoid getting captured while also fixing what the rest of the other heroes of the church had left behind. Until their luck would change when they meet a girl named Melty, who was the youngest princess and tells our heroes what is going on in her kingdom. Melty is now queen and killed her own parents along with Ren and Itsuki and along with the help of a new advisor who showed up three days earlier. And this advisor plans to create a grand purge that will destroy all of the kingdom, something that Raftalia and her friends cannot allow. Suddenly, by the orders of Queen Malti and her advisor, now known as Kyo, the spear hero, Motoyasu, had an army of soldiers surround our heroes. Melty comes out of hiding and tries to tell Motoyasu what Malti and Kyo planned to do, but was shot by an arrow, which Raftalia knew whose arrow that was, for it was the same as the one who killed Nalfami. She threw a throwing knife at the shooter, hitting her hand, and as he or she retreated, Motoyasu ordered his troops to capture them for the murder of his comrades, but thanks to Philo, our heroes made it out safely, back to Luralana village. Raftalia was there to comfort a dying Melty, and told her about Nalfami, how he was kind, how strong he was, and how he died. She had doubts about the shield being passed on to her. But Melty told her that it was Nalfumi's shield, but now it was hers, and she will use it to save this kingdom. Melty dies, but not before giving Raftalia and her friends a new hope.
with Raftalia wielding now for me's shield, Keel with Ren's sword, and Rifana with Itsuki's bow, along with an army of demi-humans, Philophiols, and Nelty's resistance troops. They stormed Malti's kingdom as the siege of Melramark had begun. Raftalia made it to the throne room with the help of her friends, and was stood face to face with Queen Malti, and notices a bandage on her hand. And after putting two and two together, it was revealed that Malti was the one who killed Nalfumi as well as Melty. As she taunts the grieving demi-human, the demon's shield starts to react. But Raftalia manages to regain control, saying that if she went down to Malti's level, she will never be able to face Nalfumi ever again. From the shadows, Keo laughs, but, and gives the queen her why. But something was wrong as something had happened or was about to happen to the queen. Something terrible. Something sinister. Multi had transformed into a hideous giant demon, crushing the castle in the process. Kira reveals that it was he who has been fueling Multi with so much hate for her parents that the magic-induced hate would give him not only a good demon to destroy this world, but the entire multiverse itself. Fortunate for us, however, Kia was crushed instantly by the giant demon, and this new Maltese energy crushed the whole kingdom to ash and rubble. Our heroes fight the demon, but she was too tough to beat on the outside, so Raftalia made the ultimate sacrifice by attacking on the inside. Once there, she could feel herself leveling down, but with all her might and her friends and Nalfumi's belief by her side, Raftalia casts the Iron Maiden on, her, on the demon's heart, making her explode and saving the kingdom. Raftalia was permanently small, but she was able to finally breathe and wishes Nalfumi to rest in peace. After the battle, the kingdom was restored to its former glory and with a reformed team of heroes, with Philo taking Motoyasu's role as the spear hero. Raftalia, Kiel, and Rifana, with the help of the other villagers, were able to create a memorial for Naofumi, Itsuki, and Ren, and they all said their final goodbyes. Back then, Raftalia was feeling alone, but because of what had transpired, with the support of her closest friends, she finally feels free to embrace her new role as this universe's shield hero. Her fame also gave her a new ally, the hunting hero herself. But that is a story for another time.